I'm also setting up my camera oh, while I'm doing it. Yeah, no, no, no. I, I had assumed you were live because you were telling a story. And I assumed that Joe telling a story generally means... Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I, thank you for assuming that I don't just wander around my house talking about, you know, I saw at Pinball Expo this machine and it wasn't quite ready yet. <laughs> I mean, I assumed that you, you weren't going to do that, but, you know, I've been wrong before. I've been wrong before. Yeah, you've been wrong before, you've been burned before, and nobody wants to be wrong and burned. That's that's the worst. I mean, I've... I, yeah, yeah. We'll get that wire out of the way. Oh, boy. <sighs> so... Time zones. <laughs> Time zones. How do they work? I'm uh, currently yeah. it's it's one thirty, not two thirty, uh, which is our normal go live time. So yeah, so it's based. So for those of you not in the know, last year we talked about this. The reason that we start at this time normally is because it's right after I get back from dropping my kid off at school, and then I don't have the opportunity to sit down and fall asleep. Yeah, but like if we. If we moved it back an hour to stay on British time consistently, then the next four weeks I would probably sleep through this stream somehow. Yeah, that, that sounds about right. So we, anyway. We move in. Time zones. Time zones. <sighs> oh boy. So I was just eating lunch. I've probably mm -hmm. eaten that too quickly. Mm -hmm. So um, if I burp, suck it up. <laughs> it's just how it's going to go. Then we know how to blame. We know who to blame. It's time zones. We'll blame the time we'll zones. We'll blame time zones. Um, okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm just thinking about this. I can't get up your stream because I've had to set up so quickly. I haven't brought a window over to this monitor, and okay. all, all the all, all the things will open in the other, in this the other monitor. So it's, it's fine. Have you seen the new guest star thing that Twitch is doing? It's too late for us to say it up today. Mm, but we can I've set up it. each other's streams as an OBS source. Okay. Just the video feed. It's something to consider. Um, yes. Uh, Skulls has resubscribed for 20 months. Thank you very much. Incurious has resubscribed for seven months. Constant Scorrow has resubscribed for 17 months. I am now incredibly hot and sweaty because I've just had to run around. So... <laughs> Uh, Captain Zemo has cheered biddies. Artillery Red has resubscribed. As with the mortician streams, the burp could be a signal that generals become too damn scary. Mm, yeah, that was that was that was that was a game. Um, <clears throat> Thank you all for the hype train. I appreciate you. I appreciate you, Joe. I try. Oh wait, where's my train whistle? Hold on, I literally <laughs> have it on. <gasps> Yay, yeah. trains. Trains, choo-choo. Oh, choo, indeed choo. Okay, I'm going to set this up to capture your window too, if I can find it. Cool oh, beans. Cool. I'm just going to pretend I'm functionally a human being right now. Yeah, I've been playing catch-up all, like, week, question mark? Like, mm-hmm. Uh, Cause yeah, I was traveling a lot last month, and so there's like a bajillion things I'm behind on, and like the first of the month is always like crazy because it's like that's when I do payroll and a bunch of other stuff, and it's like uh, yeah, um, yeah, and I, I have to it. take down all the Halloween decorations. Like I've like I replace a bunch of the light bulbs in my home for October with orange and red lights, and now I have to go back through and like open every light fixture and replace all the bulbs. And... I mean, I get it. It feels excessive, but I'm not American. I don't understand what's excessive, excessive when it comes to Halloween. Well, it's good to have like a sense of... I, I like for my apartment to have a sense of seasonal change over the course of the year so I don't go mad. Like, it helps me... <laughs> Like, having visual cues of what time of year it is kind of grounds me. It, it keeps me connected to the cycles of the Earth, you know? I, I so It feels a bit woo-woo, but okay, Joe. <laughs> a bit, what is woo-woo short for? Is uh, it, it short, short for a wooga, a wooga? Is no, it, it's like, short what, for woo-woo. Is, is it Chinese? No, it's just a term saying it's a bit esoteric. And, um, mm. hello, kitty. Okay. I'm going I'm to look up esoteric, because we have a word called esoteric that might be the same. I think it's the same word, Joe. Not 100% sure. You've got cat but... food on you, and I've just flicked it somewhere, and I don't know where it is. How are you so messy? Oh, there it is. 
good, it good. might be the same good word. good 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 cat food good cat food actually it's it very good word, cat food okay otherwise the other one would vomit <laughs> Yay. That's how that works. What's kitty? What's kitty? It's a, a kitty cat, is another right? word for a cat. Um, also known as a feline. Oh, what's kitty's name? Oh, that was Atlas. <sighs> okay. She she definitely likes cuddles um every time I stream with Joe. Yay. And every I other time, but mostly. They, huh? they see me and they're like, animals see me and they're like, I want to be close to someone. Not that guy. <laughs> I want to be close to someone I trust. Else's arms. <laughs> it's like, thanks. Ow. As I thanks. smack into my ring light. Animals. Uh, How dare you. Okay. Yes. Boy. So one of the things I, that um... I do before streaming is I feed the cats. Mm -hmm. So... So they don't bug me during the stream. So what they do is after they finish after they finish eating, they like to mm -hmm. uh, come and cuddle. Oh, so, is that what you're saying thank you or? I I mean they're just it's just full belly happy kitty I think. Gotcha. That and um, yeah, it's inconvenient for me. <laughs> oh, I'm sure. Because I don't I don't you know streaming with a cat is difficult. Uh, yeah. Main Steve cheered biddies. Thank you very much. Lost Colt game cheered biddies. Thank you very much. American Halloween seems so fun over here in Australia. I had my fine. Yeah, I mean, Halloween is just a normal day, I think, in every other country, more or less. You might mm -hmm. be lucky and have somebody who, who does Halloween in your life, and then you get like parties and stuff, but like for most people, it's just it's just the day where you might have a random stranger knock on your door and demand things. Well, you know, Americans can be demanding at times. I've noticed, Joe. I've noticed. I know. <sighs> oh, speaking of things that we Good have an opportunity you. to demand, have you looked at that thing Corellis sent us? Uh, you, the thing from his company? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, vaguely. Did you fill that out? I don't I haven't, no. I wasn't going to, because I was just like, I don't really need this. But then I saw that he's got, like, silent uh, yeah. switches for streaming. And m I've been, I've noticed that my, I noticed my keyboard sounds a lot more in editing lately, because of mm -hmm. the new mic. So I'm going to give that a try. But Yeah, well, my only problem with that is I need a number keypad so I can record. Mm. Um, because that's where all my recording keys are. Gotcha. So, um, yeah. Mm -hmm. it, oh, that's, it is that's what totally it is. fair. <laughs> yeah, what I was actually, and this is this is the sort of insane person I am. Mm -hmm. I to solve problems like that, I was actually thinking of having, kind of, um, I don't know if you've ever seen like musicians with like multiple keyboards, like musical keyboards. Yes. I was I was actually thinking of having something like that set up. Where I have my gaming keyboard directly in front of me, and then I have like another keyboard like off to the side for specialized like the keys that I don't want to hit while I'm in the middle of a recording. Or like I've been thinking I have to physically about turn my body. I've been thinking about having like a stream deck or something. Well, that's the thing is like I don't necessarily need a stream deck if I've got like just a different keyboard that has a numpad on it off to the side, right? Yeah, I get that. I get that. Uh, so. Welcome to inside streaming slash computing mm -hmm. slash everything else. Woo! We do love insides. Speaking I especially of... am fond of insides as a zombie. Yay. Can you draw me a dragon? You can draw whatever you like. Okay, so I've got here uh, something from Mr. Lance, mm -hmm. uh, who I saw at Chicago Pinball Expo, who 3D printed me a mock-up of a pinball machine. Now it is like <laughs> flat black. And so it's not, uh, I'm not sure how well it's gonna show up on the camera here, kind of. But it's, it's basically a, a kit mm -hmm. with like a back box and a cabinet body. It's not exactly the same ratios as I have on my Minecraft thing, but it's close enough that I could do print mock-ups of, uh, 
of like decals of what I'm oh. thinking about for the artwork and like put them on there for like test purposes. Um, that seems and, neat. Yeah, so I, I'm not necessarily going to use that this stream, but it's got like the um, the side rails as well that hold uh, the glass on in real life. Uh, mm -hmm. What is this piece? Boy, there is a piece here that seems like it does something that I'm. Is this this is probably not the lock bar because the lock bar would be smaller. The lock bar is this. Okay, so we've got. It is Maybe... per perfectly yeah, okay, okay to smile and nod at Joe. I have I have four legs for this thing. I've got a lockdown bar. And maybe this is some sort of... Oh, this is a topper? Maybe? Thank you, Skynines, yeah. for the eight-month resub. On one hand, eight-month woo. On the other, make time stop, please. Oh, I get that. That feeling is universal. Yeah. <sighs> oh, anyway, yeah, I'm going to put this in the topper. She doesn't show up at all on camera unless I rotate it sideways. You remember I said I can't see anything from another stream today. Oh, that's fine. You you can describe and I can go ooh and pretend oh, okay. I see stuff. Well, so so I uh, I don't have a mustache anymore. Ooh. Uh, ooh. Which is good so, yeah. because mustache on people I find relatively creepy. I mean, I only kept it for the Gomez Adams costume really, I'm which aware. was intended to be ooky, creepy, altogether spooky, that sort of thing. Mm -hmm. Um but now that that's passed, it is all gone. Um, I'm glad I saw you uh, liked our uh, photo. It was really cute. Yeah. Uh, Fern was really happy with how it turned out. She had a great Halloween. Excellent. It was very sweet. I liked it. Yay. Yeah, she uh, had the Minecraft torch as well that like Mojang sent us a few years back. Oh. Uh, <laughs> and so... By default, she was the leader of the group of six children. Um, and it's a good thing, too, because one of the kids, every time he would go to the door and come back and then look at me and go, which way do we go now? And I'm like, we just we keep going the same way down the block. Just, just, wait, for <laughs> just wait for Corinne. She's she she understands directions. Yeah. And she'd hold the torch and be like, with me. <laughs> I uh, can't remember when I last saw Bareface Joe. Oh, it's been at least two years, I think. Yeah. Oh, you know, I should probably post that picture I'm talking about for the people in the chat who are like, what? Okay, do you mind if I post it to your yeah, chat go too? Go for it, go for it, go for it. Yeah, okay. So there is our uh, Gomez and Morticia Adams and their daughter zombie. <laughs> their famous daughter. Yeah. They also had black and white striped socks at the... Um, Ah, go for rainbow. Uh, it's shopping, cool. But I, I was like, the rainbow, I feel like it has a good zombie Cleo vibe. And, you know, I, I mean, yeah. Rainbow colorful. is my favorite color. Yeah. What's your I've favorite lost... color? A prism. <laughs> well, actually, actually, technically my favorite color is green. But if anybody asks who is, um, like, between four and ten, my answer is rainbows. Uh -huh. Because it for some reason it just makes them smile. So yeah. So ah, oh. welcome to Cleo as a teacher. <laughs> you love my our bullet journal streams. Good. That's what we're here for. We try. It does. It, like, like this has helped me uh, keep up with it like more than I haven't like I have been more organized this year than I think I ever have been because of these streams that's good mm -hmm. I am happy to help I am pleased or, or hinder amusingly <laughs> I mean you know it's a little from column a a little from column b but it's fine because if it wasn't fine I would stop That's that's not surprising. Cleo does not put up with anybody. <laughs> I do not suffer fools gladly. I mean, who does really? Like as oh, a statement, no. who suffers? Who does suffer fools gladly? Except oh. maybe other fools. Oh, it's pretty telling. 
Yeah, Thank I you, mean, Paleo, for the 16-month resub. It's appreciated. I think con artists suffer fools gladly. That's true. Oh, and a little darker than where I was intending to go with that, but sure. Oh, man. Uh, speaking of darker, um, I don't know if you've been over to the hilltop that Impulse told a bunch of the hermits to start building on. No, I've no. not been on for a bit because of like personal stuff. Oh, uh, that's fair. Is there anything? Well, we can talk after if there's anything you need, though. No, I'm all right. I'm all right. I'm all right. I've just got okay. to. I've got to. I've got plans, and then Ren has tagged me for stuff. Uh huh. And um. <clears throat> yeah. So so I've got to finish off this little story arc that we're doing currently, and mm -hmm. then get Ren to do things so gotcha well if you need any like blocks or anything just to like move stuff along I've got a community storage area you know that HHH depot we were always talking about building oh you did it <laughs> hooray yeah I was gonna do it on Monday with you but you were gone and so sorry it was uh, Halloween I had to do my obligatory spooky stream no that's that's fair that's fair um it's not as good as or pretty as maybe we would have done it together, but it does exist and it has blocks for you if you need them. Thank you, um, Joe. It's appreciated. The only thing I really am going to need at some point is stone because mm -hmm. I'm going to need a lot of armor stands because <laughs> Ren has gone, hey, you know what you're really good at? <laughs> I'm like, oh, okay. Uh oh. Yep. Yeah. <sighs> That the oh. FPS on their server is going to tank immediately. <laughs> so, uh, what I was going to say is, um, somebody built a sheep paddock. Is mm -hmm. a paddock fenced in, or is that an open field? A paddock, I, mean, I think, is fenced, yeah. Okay, so it's a fenced-in sheep paddock. And somebody else came through the nether in a portal coordinates that corresponded with that paddock right which then dumped all the sheep onto the nether roof and of course because it's like a tiny you know like six by nine or whatever mm -hmm. thing with like a hundred sheep in it so anyway um we're trying to fix this or something and I'm, i make some sort of comment to asuma about like you know uh, if we do uh you know, maybe we should do this so we don't, um, you know, because uh, this other thing could go wrong if we don't route mm -hmm. around it, if we don't prepare for it. And he says to me, he says, Joe, when you worry, you suffer twice. And X is becoming about... too philosophical of late. And I don't like it. It's creepy. I, I, th I thought about that for about a half second. I'm like, no, X, I suffer constantly. <laughs> Like all I do is worry. Like so, so I've I've been thinking about that the last few days. I'm trying to figure out better ways to like delegate and offload. Is stuff X okay? Me. X I think is a lot X better than fine. he's been in a long time. Uh, to be honest, so I think X is just like uh, has has found some inner peace somehow. Yeah. Eklund so, says, uh, "I wonder where he gets that stuff." I would assume a calendar, one of those like quote of the day type paper calendars where you tear it off with the adhesive he does he does seem like the sort yes yeah <laughs> he'd see that and be like you know that reminds me of joe i'm gonna i'm gonna tell him that next time i see him <laughs> i'm gonna i'm gonna hold that in my pocket and whenever the need arises that's gonna be <laughs> my go-to state yeah of all oh. the hermits x is an enigma i think yeah I'm trying not to wander off, but I need to reach the other color pencils. Wander, yeah. it's fine. Okay. It's fine. Mini uh. Cheese Mouse has resubscribed for 20 months. 20, that's double 10. That's many lots. It is, in fact, a score. It feels oh. weird that I've been doing this for 20 months. Hashtag score. <laughs> X seems like he's in a whole new level of shishwaminess. He really seems like he's at peace now. I think he's very chill. Like, I, 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 like he said a whole thing about he did a whole thing about leadership and mm -hmm. X has taken a massive back seat recently. And I think that's helped. I think that's helped his peace of mind. Yeah. 
Well, because, like, there's this thing where it's, like, you can only be so responsible for the happiness of others. You know? Yeah, exactly. And, like, I have no idea where these color pencils... Like, mm. I, I moved... I, I've got, like, one of my trays of color pencils, but, like, a bunch of stuff got moved around the studio. Yeah, no. Winnie has How resubscribed for 20 months. Thank you very much indeed. Okay, well, with the colors I do... <laughs> with the colors that you a... do have, you're going to do a thing. the colors I do have, which was a few blues, a purple... Yeah. What can I, what can I do with them? Um, let's just play with them. X is an enigma wrapped in a screen mask wielding a d guitar. Like, Jumpy Jasmine X has says, so sorry. Go on. Jumpy Jasmine says he dumped all the hermits onto Flip and is chilling. <laughs> <laughs> Not my problem. Arguably, um, we've we've kind of uh, collectivized the uh, running of Hermitcraft at this point. Like that. Not that. Not yeah. the server maintenance. That's all still X, but. Yeah. With like everything else, we yeah. we've kind of like we're kind of like all together now, so there is no need for yeah. Um, but yeah, I think I think I think not dealing with every single complaint and problem has helped, believe it or not. Yeah, I'm I'm trying to route more of that stuff through my staff now and. Mm -hmm. I'm realizing that one of the problems with me not having time to deal with everything is I also haven't had time to, like, necessarily create good processes for my staff. So I apologize to anybody who's out there listening. If you feel like I'm just like, please go deal with this. And you're like, praying? Uh, yeah, that's on me. I'm... Ugh. Call of the Ocean resubscribe for four months. Thank you very much. No, I get that. I get that. Wait, I mean, I don't wait, have wait. stuff. I mean, Ren, t Ren talked to me uh, the other day. So we can get our build teams doing stuff. And I'm like, I don't have a build, no, team. A build team. And I'm like, no, <laughs> it was like, he was like, oh, I have a build team. <laughs> well, Ren, good luck to your build team. <laughs> it's okay. We're going to be relying on them as well. Ah. <laughs> <sighs> But I don't think it occurred to me that hermits have like actual build teams properly um, until that mm -hmm. moment. Yeah. So. Uh, don't get me wrong. I can't afford a build team. So. No, that, that's that's part of it. Uh, but that's to me that's the last sort of thing I want to offload. Yeah. No, that's the creative part. I don't. I don't. Yeah. I want my builds to be like me. A bit weird yeah. and scattered. Because, like, for me, it's like, okay, I set aside time to deal with certain classes of problems. Mm. But sometimes people are like, hey, this needs to be addressed sooner. And I'm like, well, the problem is I need to protect my time and deal with that at the time I allocated, right? Right. So, like, now I need to, like, tell my staff, like, okay, y'all, figure out what needs to be escalated and what doesn't. But there's mm -hmm. no rubrics for any of this. There's no... Yeah. And but like I, if I had time to create that rubric, I also would have had time to maybe solve that particular problem. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So it's like, uh, so I've got to figure that out. But I also have to figure out like eight hundred other things with like we're trying to get this immigration, marriage license, all that process going. Yeah, and like that absolutely needs to start as soon as possible, right? Mm -hmm. And so I'm just like every minute that I spend like on other stuff, I'm not spending. If it's anything like ours, it's because I've looked into ours, and it's yeah. it's it's a it's a problem. It's a, it's, well, it's it's a, it's, a it's a lot. It, it well, is a lot. Yes, I'm like having to write to the county I was born in. Like there's there's like yeah. I so I've got like in my task queue for today, find the stamps and envelopes because I haven't actually had to mail anything with a stamp for like since I moved. And I know I have like a I, I I have like a thirty dollar book of stamps somewhere, and I don't want to go <laughs> buy more stamps. Fair. Um, I I also have a box of envelopes somewhere. I don't want to go buy more envelopes, but like, yeah. Uh, it's like, like I'm not looking forward to having to do that sort of stuff because it's it's gonna be not fun. 
Um, it's it's uh, it's I think it's it's the sort of thing that it's worth doing, mm. but it's a lot. It's 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 lot. more work than it should be. I'm I'm a big fan of having borders that are as open as possible. Oh, um, same, same. It and that's not something sense. like, oh, once you started dating someone from another country, you changed your mind on that. It's like, oh, no, 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 no. I've always been. I, I don't. I don't. Just just come in. It's fine. What are they going to do? Live here? Oh, no. Yeah. More people for those jobs you say that nobody wants. Yeah, I know. Uh... Not that they should be forced to do jobs nobody wants. Just want to make that clear. People should have the option to do jobs in other countries. Yeah, they should. Okay, so because one of the things it's sort of like theories. Oh god. I was I was thinking like like even if you were to do a fiance visa in this country, mm -hmm. um, they're not allowed to work. Like, and you have to be able to support them. So that's Wait, why I'm not allowed to work if I did a fiance visa for England. Pretty much, yeah. Yeah, I haven't looked into that much because the... It's um... until you, like, between the fiancé part, so when you come over and between the time you get married, once you've done uh -huh. that, you cannot work. You have to be supported by your spouse. And um, it's different for a family visa. I would like to point that uh -huh. out. So if yeah. you're already married, that's... A pro like, you know, getting married in the US and then coming over will sort out most of your problems. You don't have to do the... Um, are you really in this relationship or are you just faking? You don't have to do that interview. Yeah. Um, you know, That's it's, good. yeah, it, it's the easier way to come over. So, you know. Yeah. Well, and so we haven't looked into that because with the custody situation, it's not really yeah. feasible for me to go over there. Yeah, no, um, I understand. Or at least not first. Like we, you know, we would hopefully ultimately end up in Scotland. Um, after Corinne goes to college. Mm -hmm. um, but, yeah, I just, uh, oh, it's, yep. it's going to be a whole thing, because, like, that's part of it, too, is I'm like, okay, so with my YouTube business, depending on how successful it is, it'll either be trivial to move it, because it's like, okay, well, I make plenty of money, so I can prove to them, like, if 10 years from now, I want to move to Scotland, right? Yeah. Okay. If the YouTube business is at a certain point where I can be like, look, I make all this money, uh, you know, let me move to your country. I'll continue to be self-employed. I mean, That's... that won't even come into it because you 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 would be married to a citizen. OK. Um, so... the, at, at, at best, you would need to get an accountant to go to, to start doing things. You would just have to pr uh, apply for indefinite leave to remain. OK, but I would um... still have to like uh, start paying british taxes and a bunch of other stuff right yeah um, yeah but yeah, you obviously. would also have to pay american taxes at yeah. the same well, time well here's where things get fun is one of the things i'm trying to figure out is like okay how if i scale up the business too much right like if i do a bunch of like okay i've got a warehouse that i'm shipping merch out of mm -hmm. and stuff in nashville then do i leave somebody whoever's managing that day-to-day -day in charge of the warehouse in Nashville when I move to Scotland. And then I spin up a second Scottish-based merch operation in the UK or... Assuming Scotland, Scotland is part or, of the UK. Yeah. Yeah, or, or Free Scotland or whatever it's called. That's the other thing, though, is I'm I'm not 100%... Sh One of the reasons I'm worried about income and stuff with that migration thing is if Scotland's already independent... You'd have to go to my, the UK. Well, we, we don't necessarily want to. We're not looking I'm, to move I'm aware. back to London. Yeah, yeah. I'm so, aware. Yeah, so that, at that point, if I'm applying for like, I don't know what you would call it, like a legacy citizen uh, or a legacy migration, like where like, oh, hey, my grandmother was Scottish. Let me I, move here, please. I'm not right? convinced that's a thing, to be honest. I don't. But... I don't. Well, no, but there some countries do have a kind of. It's not necessarily the same thing as right of return, but it's like along those lines where mm -hmm. if you can trace your lineage to the country they'll prioritize you in the immigration queue. Not necessarily guarantee you a spot, but they'll... You you clear a few low hurdle. You have to apply for the... Uh... Yeah, no, don't worry, guys. I have looked into all of this. Don't worry. I am, I am aware of what the fiancé visa requires and where if people need to apply. I mean, like, honestly, my, um, like my brain is going... 
this would be so much easier if I just got married in the US and then applied for a family visa. Mm -hmm. Well, if you need suggestions about good venues in look, the look, Nashville look, look. area, Neither I'm doing me, a ton of research. Neither me nor my other half, one, are engaged yet. <laughs> Okay, okay. Two, two are very big on weddings in the first place. Well, that's we are fair. perfectly that's... happy just going, shall we go to Vegas? So, yeah, I get that. <laughs> on one level, I kind of I kind of get that vibe. But like my last uh, marriage, you know, we planned three separate weddings. Because they kept getting canceled by my in-laws. And by the time we got to the end of it, the one we actually were able to afford ourselves and just kind of sent the in-laws like an invite saying you can show up if you want type of invite mm -hmm. type of thing like we didn't have room for like only one of my friends was there like we had like oh yeah. it was it was like a tiny chapel with like m my parents her parents and like three other people it was and you want to do a wedding is that what you're saying to well, me i'd like to at least maybe have groomsmen this time like all of yeah. my friends who didn't get to go to the last wedding because there literally was not standing room right yeah, it'd understood. be nice to, it, it'd be nice to have something there but the other thing is from the from the um u.s process coming over here with the fiance visa mm -hmm. one of the things they want is evidence of you planning a wedding to show yeah. that it's not just a sham marriage or whatever so oh, yeah. I need to actually yeah. have emails with venues and stuff saying, hi, could I get a price on, you know, we're looking for something potentially in mid to late 2023, early 2024 at the latest, uh, mm -hmm. what times of year are uh, more affordable, blah, blah, blah. So I, that's the other thing is I've got like a bajillion things like that that I need to get moving. Um, but like, and it's not necessarily like, oh, I'm so vain. It's like, oh, I have to have a huge wedding to show off to everybody how great yeah. I am at throwing parties. But like, oh, no. I, 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 I'm, I really, I was disappointed that my friends weren't there last time. And I knew that was, that's valid. Cause so, sometimes I go into stuff like that and I'm like, this is going to suck, but you know, it's, it's, I'm sure it's fine. And then I, I do it and I'm like, no, this actually sucked more than I thought it was going to suck. <laughs> I, I really, I should have figured out a better way to make this work. Right. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, I understand. I mean, like, like I say, I'm not, like, I'm not really into like the marriage aspect of like, be mm -hmm. like that that's not the thing that like it's not the thing i care about you know it's 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 mm -hmm. the 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 being in the relationship and um it's it's the i just want i just want my other half to be with me mm -hmm. and um the fact that it's because we're in different in different countries is the pain in the ass. I don't really care about weddings or anything. The only reason why I'm considering it mm -hmm. is to get him over here. Yeah. You the, know? The fact that yeah, the fact that there's no way for us to live near each other without mm -hmm. getting married is yeah. incredibly frustrating. Um Uh-huh. Oh, I've missed a lo ho whole bunch. Hi Cam. <laughs> um oh, hey. Mathematical Jackal has resubscribed for eight months. McLeslie's cheered 400 biddies. Thank you very much. Sliding Architecture has resubscribed for 14 months. Hey, Cleo, I hope you're well and I wish you a great month. Thank you very much. Cameron's resubscribed for 20 months and says two full years. Um, <laughs> like, it was a joke, Cameron. <laughs> Paleo cheered biddies. Uh, Izzo has resubscribed for two months. Thank you very much indeed. <laughs> A piece of, of, of expensive official paper doesn't change the relationship. Exactly. So, but like, living in the same country does. Living in the same country absolutely does. It does. It does make a difference. So, um, the fact that the only way to get them to live in the same country with me is 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 this way is the bit I don't like. Yeah. Well, it was a joke. Cam, I do understand how many months are in a year. Yeah. Early stream. I didn't expect this for another half an hour. Neither did I. <laughs> Yay, we did it. Um, the only reason why I'm here is whilst I sat down for lunch, Joe says, Hi, I'm here at your convenience. And I was just like, Oh no. 
Time oh, no. Lord. <laughs> I know. Um, and then it was just like, okay, well, time zones then. Let's go. So I'm here. I'm still kind of hot and radiator's not on. I'm still kind of hot and sweaty. So, because I've been running around. I know. I Real know. Quick, uh, let me thank Brandon for tipping 40. Woo! We're going to go ahead and rotate that camera 40 degrees angular. We are doing uh, rotational tips today during the craft stream. Yeah, we're in the weird bit of time where some clocks have shifted and others haven't. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Which is actually kind of convenient for... Lauren and I, or Badger Spanner and I, because when we're, or at least when once she gets back to England, we'll only be five hours apart instead of six, which is nice. Yeah. I mean, me and Cam don't really have have um, any sense of like going to bed at a reasonable hour, so it really does. It really makes no difference. Yeah, I gotta get my kid to school in the morning is the, the thing. Oh yeah, no, I, I understand. Um, it's just like time zones really don't have an effect. <laughs> Was this because they got rid of daylight savings times? They haven't yet. I think that's next year, isn't it? Or the year after? We'll see. <laughs> we'll all see. We'll all see. Welcome back, NJ. I hope your dentist visit went well. Next year is permanent daylight savings time. UK is gridding. No, this is America. We're not getting rid of anything. I'm not entirely sure why we still have it. Because we don't have a huge, like, farming industry anymore. We still well, have I mean, a farming industry, but not a huge one. Just like two weeks ahead of the US, it's always been that. It's so annoying. Because we had it in the war and those were the good times. <laughs> Not convinced yeah. by that, but sure. Good times. Woo. There's not I just heard it was not letting children go into the I mean that's the reason they've they've used for keeping it. But I'm sure that there is like a monetary reason to get to, to get rid of it at some point. Oh yeah, I mean it, it costs a ton of computer time or uh, developer time for dealing with all the tech problems. It creates. Why do I have this idea that DST was a wartime energy saving thing? Mm -hmm. Sounds like propaganda to me. It does sound a bit propaganda, yeah. <laughs> Everybody do the propaganda. Don't do the propaganda. It doesn't work for anyone. Scottish children walking to school in the very dark during December is mostly why it stays. Thank you for the bits, mini cheese mouse. Um, yeah, I understand that. But then just keep it at that, you know, the lighter time all the time. You know, it's it's kind of it's kind of like, I mean, I see that, but. Just, just, just do the smart thing. Why do I have a feeling does handmade birthday Christmas cards? I might be wrong. You are wrong. Cleo doesn't do any kind of Christmas cards. <laughs> Mahi Zero says, uh, for my sister's first wedding, she did the big church, etc. For the second, they rented an outdoor venue, so there was plenty of room and it was much cheaper. Yeah, so the problem is outdoor venue, when we don't know what time of year we're going to get our uh, paperwork approved in, means like nashville outdoor venues can be kind of rough and so yeah. i've heard stories side. about this yeah 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 uh, <laughs> so that's that's like a whole separate thing People in Germany voted to get rid of DST since at least 10 years over and over again. It's still a thing. Mm. <sighs> Bleh. 
I am very tired. I'm not very tired. I'm dead. I'm just thinking my dad would never make that joke. <laughs> yeah. When, yeah, I don't know if I told... I might have told you this, but yeah, the other day... Um, pick my daughter up from school and she's like I'm hungry and thirsty and I go oh I'm sorry Thursday I didn't see you there behind hungry oh. she's like oh, I hate that joke structure and I'm like no this is a slightly different one because she hates the high hungry I'm dead she's like that's not an acceptable joke it's not even a joke <sighs> Oh dear. Okay. August. For those of you who don't know, I'm planning out next year's journal. Um, I've done I've done a little savings challenge. I'm doing a monthly plan and I think I've got stuff over here. Oh, it's the yearly calendar, which is basically this page in a different colour. No, it's not. It's the numbers. That's the actual numbers. Um, I had to call in like my 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 bins hadn't been collected yeah. and i can hear them coming around now <laughs> and i hate to be the person that calls it in but it's been 5 days and they've not been collected wait what do you mean what do you mean you called it in like they uh -oh. don't just come by and pick up your trash they should do they didn't yeah 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 but like if they don't there's like somebody there's to a, call there's a, there's a website yeah you can call as well but there's a website Oh man, we don't have that. At least, or I don't think so. I think you just don't. If your trash doesn't get collected, you just wait. <laughs> That's really neat. I don't. I don't know what to say to that. <laughs> well, well, I mean, what, what, what? Or like, or people would like call up their like city councilman or whatever, or be like, "Hey, what the heck? The trash people aren't coming by anymore." But like, I don't think you can call the trash people. Cam says he's had to do it. You just call utilities. Huh. Well, maybe this is the sort of thing the landlord has a phone number for them on. I mean, I'm sure you can look it up. Yeah, but like, I don't know if they would talk to me. Because I'm not paying them, you right? If they're paid out of like... Oh, city okay. Um, yeah, but surely you're still a citizen. Yeah, 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 but uh, okay. Being a citizen doesn't mean I'm their customer. The landlord is their customer. You see what I mean? I understand what you're saying. Yes. I think I would have to call my landlord and have them. It depends on the U.S. municipality. Most places you call town hall or something. Oh. Does the city control trash services in Nashville? Says Brianna Horton. Some of them. That's the other thing. Is some of the places I've lived. They've got like a dumpster and there's like an outside provider that empties the dumpster. And if the dumpster doesn't get emptied, the dumpster doesn't get emptied. There's nobody to call. You just keep throwing stuff on top of the dumpster till it's twice as all full of trash. What do you do? Like, landlord. If the landlord was going to do something, they would have done something. What gets me is when I was filling out that form and it's sort of like... Uh, it's sort of like, if we, can, if, if we can tell that your bin hasn't been emptied... Uh, by our records and I'm like surely you, you were on the record as having my bins emptied like none of it wasn't just me none of my neighbors got emptied either uh -huh. so it was just sort of like it was sort of like if we it was sort of like if we can tell from our records that your 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 street has been done you're just gonna have to wait mm -hmm. it took you 45 seconds to look up the number that Joe would call Apparently you have a number, Joe, that you could call. Okay, but once again, though, if my landlord isn't necessarily using the city for the dumpster emptying and stuff. That's like, true. That's, that's true. That's what it... Maybe you should just ask, ask, ask your landlord what the number is if it's not called so he doesn't have to do it. Oh, so usually what happens is the dumpster would fill up and the landlord would say, I know the dumpster's full. Stop putting trash in it. And everybody would go... That's I not my problem. I, I pay for a I didn't service. See this email. Yeah, you. <laughs> so the landlord knows. It's sort of like, 
Do you know whose problem that isn't? Mine. Yeah, yeah. It's like, look, if you if the if the company charges you extra if the dumpster is overflowing, you hire people. You you rent a second dumpster, or you hire people to haul off the excess. Like that is part of what you are providing as if a baseline. It's, if it's for... because of their own ineptitude that it is is full, full up, I'm pretty sure you could argue that one. Well, that's the thing is it is. It, it's because it's because for some reason, it, like I'm assuming if the dumpster isn't being emptied by the waste management company, the, the landlord probably screwed something up. Yes. At which point, not still not your problem. Yeah. <laughs> Don't worry about being late, Anna. You are one. You are not obligated to be here. Two. Um. It's 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 my it's Joe's fault. Okay. Several people have come in apologizing for not being here. It's weird. Don't don't worry. You're not you're not obligated. Okay. <laughs> I would like to think I'm not, but you know. Now I'm worried. Should I be apologizing? It's like, oh boy. No, no, no. You shouldn't be apologizing because arguably. It's also my fault, but I'm blaming you because it's easy for me. Right. Yeah, so <laughs> Cleo can't see what I'm drawing, and nobody's really commenting on it. So that means maybe I'm, maybe nobody's actually nobody actually watches my camera anymore. <laughs> there was one person who made an oblique comment, but I don't think they know what I'm drawing. Um, I'm just background noise. Got it. Okay. Oh, <laughs> you're not background noise. You're very incisive background noise. Yay. Yay. Okay, let's do the yearly calendar. Oh, I hate doing this bit. Okay. At least this year I didn't move the clock the wrong way. I did that on my in my car. Oh no. Which confused me yesterday. I'm just like, why is Am I, am I really late? <clears throat> okay. The internet so. control clocks is, 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 is just so nice. So Demented MK says something coming through the rift. Medea Star says, I just figured it was explained before I joined. Dino Danny says, I was waiting to see it come together. Um, Emily W uh, and a few other people are like, is it Barney coming through the rift? So, Cleo, I don't know if you had Barney the dinosaur in the UK. I am aware of Barney the dinosaur, but we didn't have it. So, he's purple and the rift is purple. So, one of my theories for why the rift is closed is that the rift is Barney the dinosaur. And... Right. I'm not sure if the lore is going to support that theory or not. We'll have to see how this all breaks, but um, I haven't been proven wrong yet. And and that is the first step in being proven right. Exactly. The Sverald says, I was mildly concerned about the drug, so I decided not to comment. <laughs> um... Uh, it is the theory that I explained to Cub. Cub fan did not have any comments on this theory. He was just kind of like, uh... He was just like, this is Joe, we just have to deal with this. Yeah. I... Which I get. I... Yeah. Jen must have a way between the servers that isn't the Rift. Do you know why you just don't, don't just ask her? Uh, I haven't seen Jen. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, since the rift opened, I haven't seen many people since the rift opened. Yeah. Oh, do you know William Riker? I I know of the character. Yeah, you know how there's also a Thomas Riker. Mm, vaguely, names. Familiar. Yeah, I I think I should have probably Thomas Rikered myself when I went through the rift. Uh, so basically, there is a. There was an emergency on some planet like 16 years ago in Next mm -hmm. Generation when Riker was like an Ensign. And right. he, uh, they, he transported back in a storm and basically the transporter cloned him. And the clone was left on the planet 
trying to survive for 16 years in this like remote arctic outpost thing right oof yeah not ideal uh, no. But every but nobody knew he was missing because he was also on the ship doing Starfleet stuff for the next sixteen years, right? Right. Uh, I kind of I I realize that what I probably should have done with the rift is had a version of me stay behind and work on the pinball machine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but then you have to you, then you have to kill your clone self when you come back, and that's going to be an well, editing nightmare. I mean, honestly, though, um, well, I mean, William Riker uh, or, or Thomas Riker just got reinstated with a Starfleet commission or whatever and, like, sent to work on a different ship so it wouldn't be awkward. But, like, so in theory, the version that the extra version of me or whatever that didn't come back to Hermitcraft mm -hmm. or the extra version of me could, like possibly go somewhere else and i could spin off a whole like dimension hopping like hey can i join your smp for six weeks type of thing <laughs> um but i didn't think this through yeah no maybe not x and wells have managed to permanently exile their clones evil as they may be so it's always an option yeah i suppose that's true Oh, you know what? This is this is this is the justification for creating a second channel. <laughs> Cuz I <sighs> Yeah. Yeah. Joe Hill's cloned. <sighs> you know, I mean, there's a good chance, there's a non-zero chance. Mhm. Mm there is a non-zero chance that Barney the Dinosaur will reopen the rift at some point. And if I step through it again, we can always come back to this, this idea. Yeah, that's true. Oh, found my sharpener. It's not too late. It's never too late. It's just awkward. I actually missed season six human, human Cleo. Well, there's plenty of those out there. <sighs> Trust me, it's plenty. Clone Hills. Ah, oh dear. It started. Let's go for blues. I've got some of these new little things that I could put in here. Maybe the lights. Yeah, I'll see. Quirky says, I went to an outdoor wedding in Michigan this summer. In Michigan. Michigan's very far north for those of y'all who don't know American geography. And it was still brutal for the ceremony. Uh, Mahi Zero says that his sister did outdoors in Texas in the summer, but it was during COVID, so the outdoor thing was a kind of a big plus. Uh, a purple dinosaur has nothing to do with Hermitcraft. You'd be surprised what has nothing to do with Hermitcraft until it has something to do with Hermitcraft. I think this whole c this whole arc is a, an example of that. That tape is so cute. I I think it is as well. I think I think I've got like a lot of, I have a bit of washi tape, like a smidge. So it's always nice to find like cute ones that I don't own. I need to come up with a better storage system though. Hmm. I was at Costco the other day and I saw this like little cabinet thing and I was like, that could work until I run out of space. It almost seems like you could make something kind of like an abacus with like a bunch of rods that like hook, that like hook in or are on hinges or something like that. And you just have this huge like ladder of parallel dowels and you just slide the tape onto the dowels or whatever. Yeah, that and, feels... I mean, Awkward. So that way they're all off. on display for your. Mm. When you, so that way, at a re, as a quick visual reference, like because out of you know it was kind of this sort of thing where it's like out of sight, out of mind. But if you can see all of them at once and you've got them organized somehow, so like one dowel might be all holiday stuff, you can take that down and put it on the camera. And... Getting them off the dowel would be a pain. That, that I have considered that <gasps> sort of thing. 
yeah. that is the reason that I've I've done for not implementing that sort of thing. I could absolutely do it, but there is no guarantee. I will point out that Streamloot's cards are on, but uh, but working with Hermit rules still apply. Yeah. Um, I just thought I'd MJ say that says, because I just heard one go off. <laughs> MJ says I might have missed the original joke, but I feel like Joe could have a second show where he has a totally different personality. Uh, maybe. I don't I think Joe say... can have a totally different personality. Yeah, they're all just me. Uh, they are. I to... Yeah, I, I was talking to this. Um, I was dressed as Beetlejuice, uh, mm -hmm. so it started raining on Halloween, right? Right. And so I ended up um with my gomez adams like suit soaked and it's like an actual like suit so i, I was like i'm hanging this up to dry i ran uh mm -hmm. luckily because we were you know treating in the neighborhood I, I was stopped at our house and uh, our apartment or whatever okay. and uh like so i switched over to my beetlejuice suit and um so at one point uh badger is talking to this old lady and mm -hmm. I, I start talking, or I jump into the conversation, but I'm talking like this because I'm Beetlejuice or whatever, you know? Yeah. And, uh, Badger keeps laughing. I'm like, what? I didn't say anything funny there. And she's like, no, it's the voice. And um, and, and the old lady's like, oh, do you do, you do a lot of voices or something? And I'm like, no, not too many. I am sometimes recognizable by my Boston accent, but, you know, on the whole, it's mostly just this, you know, that sort of thing. And, and the old lady's like, oh, are you from Boston? And I'm like, no, this is an affectation. This is intended to be humorous and not actually my origin story. <laughs> anyway, so I managed to convince an old lady that I was from Boston without trying. With that Boston accent. With that Boston accent. Although, you know, she's from Nashville, so maybe that's just very plausible for what people from Boston sound like. Um, okay, Snuffles just tip 10, who says... Just wanted to tip five, but Jeff Hills needs some for the second channel as well. Like <laughs> uh, that puts us uh, 10 degrees angular further along. I So the thing is, if I was going to do the William Riker thing, um, so the main character's name is William T. Riker, William Thomas Riker. So his clone takes the middle name as the first name. So mm -hmm. it would probably... So I, if I'm Joseph Benedict Hills, then... The second channel would be like Benedict Hills or Ben Hills or something. I mean, Benny valid. Hills. Valid. I guess Benny Hills is where the joke is. <laughs> oh. No, that's not a joke. Benny Hills is not a joke. Benny Hills is... Benny, Benny Hills is just awful. Thanks. Thanks, Cleo. No, I mean the show. <laughs> oh, okay. So remember when I had... Uh, I did all of those swatches so I would know like which color to use? I'm looking at these like 10 grays here and I'm like, I don't know which of these grays... It's going to be good for this cave wall. Well done. Luckily, I've got swatches. Woo. Yay. There we go. Okay. 1060 looks like the one. So, my chat, just out of curiosity, how do you feel about another Mortuary Assistant stream? Did you enjoy it, the first one, Cleo? I... I did. I screamed a lot. Uh -huh. um, and yeah, I find it's a really interesting game. I think I've managed to avoid, like, 100% of the story in my playthrough. How? 
Um, because it's procedurally generated. Uh-huh. And um depending on what what scares you what, what scares you get just depends on how you're playing the game. But also uh-huh. what story pieces show up depends on items that you're carrying and stuff. Um so like when when you say items that you're carrying, is it like, hey, what do you want to bring from your apartment? Do you bring yeah, your iPod yeah, or your apparently. Walkman? Well there there's like there's like um what do you call it? Uh, like apparently in the apartment somewhere, there's your dad's uh, necklace, your dad's crucifix, and there are coins that you get from like uh, AA, like sobriety mm-hmm. coins and stuff. Um, like, but and I've, I've I've looked a little bit online, and I've like I've missed like, did you know, chat? We were able to go outside and down into the basement. I didn't know that. And I'm I'm like I'm like this game terrified me, but mm-hmm. I kind of like that as a rule. Mm-hmm. And I'm kind of intrigued by the story. <laughs> um It's 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 a really interesting game and like I I've I've listened to the developer and the developer saying like like there's going to be a, a uh, an uh, an embalming only mode, and I don't know how that would be. And I I I kind of want him to do, um, the day shift where it's the other guy dealing with things, and it's it's it's. I'm very intrigued by this game. So is he adding a day shift? Is that? What... Oh no, I think I think that's what no, that's that's primarily what I would like him to do, oh, because okay. a day cool. shift feels like it would be. Daisha feels like it would be interesting, you know. It would, it would, because because mm-hmm. there's this guy in the the thing who is also being played by demons, but he runs mm-hmm. the day shift, and he's the one that's telling you how to do things. Mm-hmm. Um, so the demons show up during the day too. Uh, I I would imagine so. Um, but yeah, I kind of want to. I kind of they, they don't just leave like while you were out cards. No. Like, no. While you were out, I replaced all the water in the sink with blood. It's water again. But just so you know, I did that. Like the creepiest thing that I found, I've seen a couple of the jump scares on other people's playthroughs after I watched it. And it was mm. just sort of like the creepiest jump scares is just this demon who is basically the same colour as the walls is just sitting on top of file cabinets watching you, or sitting above the door watching you, or down in a corner, just watching you. And you can see it in these other people's videos where you they're just going, la 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 la, embalming a corpse. And then he's there in their vision this whole time. And then they see him. And that is the, the scariest part for me. Because mm-hmm. it's just like, he's been there this whole time. Yeah. Every step you take, every move you make, he'll be watching you. That demon was in yours, was it? Well, that's and the thing. you it's missed it once. Happens. Oh. Well, apparently the warden was in my stream the other night. I didn't see him. But somebody was like, I saw the warden! And so I went back and I looked at the footage. And in like one or two frames, like the warden was actually like directly next to me. And I had no idea. Oh, well, apparently like chat was laughing because I I, I, I didn't notice. Well, you see, that's that's the, the point I'm making. Um, But I'm really intrigued by this game. And mm. like, I don't really do that with a lot of games. Particularly not horror games because i am a big old frady cat but um yeah though this one's really piqued my attention i've also got um i've got to play another horror game at some point Mm -hmm. so because it's gonna be a thing okay let's start I collect games says my wife hates it when I sit on top of the filing cabinet and stare at her. <laughs> uh, I mean, if you know she hates it, then I, maybe don't do it. Like, I mean, and I'm not here to tell you how to run your marriage, but like. If she's communicated something like that to you, she probably expects you to change your behavior. Possibly. But 
But yeah, no, this game has 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 piqued my interest, to say the least. <sighs> Spooky Vemba, let's go. Chat be like Cleo getting traumatized and scares. It's funny. I wasn't traumatized. I was scared, but I like that. Mm -hmm. That's the whole point of horror movies for me. Oh, speaking of which, uh, Sean recommended this horror movie called Barbarian to mm -hmm. Lauren and I. And uh, we were told to go in blind. Sean was like, if you need to know anything about it, it's that it's made by Zach Kreger, who um, he is a comedian uh, from the sketch comedy group called The Whitest Kids You Know. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you ever saw the sketch comedy a gal or the comedy sketch a gallon of PCP, but uh, he did that one. And, I've uh, not heard of that one. It's kind of it's kind of a terrifying comedy sketch, uh, but uh, yeah, if you if you YouTube gallon of PCP, <laughs> um, there's only really one thing with that title, because um, you know most people don't buy a gallon of PCP. Uh, no, I I wouldn't imagine that they do. But anyway, um, so Sean's like, you got to check out this horror movie. Don't Google it. Just just trust me. This is legitimately good. I'm not punking you. This is not me like, haha, this was actually terrible. It's not an ironic recommendation. I've heard Go about it. Yeah, it's called Barbarian. It is absolutely fantastic. Uh, we watched it uh, last week. Strongly recommend it. So I'll put it on the list. Unfortunately, I don't have a lot of just watching movies times. No, no, I don't have a ton of it either. But it it'll put, it, it was on the list anyway, so mm. good. Bump it up if you can, because it's uh, it's worth it. Okay, we'll do. And it's worth going into blind, and so stuff like that that that's better to go into blind. You want to see it before other people like start talking about it on Twitter, whatever. You know what I mean? I'm not really in the circles of people talking about horror movies on Twitter, to be honest. Okay. That's fair. But, uh, point taken. Comedians are unfairly good at horror. I think a lot of that is because a lot of comedians have some form of mental illness. Um, and the way they cope with that is by making other people feel good. Usually it's depression. So. I can imagine why they would be good at at horror movies. Maybe you make a page with all the hermits interacting with the numbers, like turning into zombie colours and redstone. I do not have the uh, personal capability to do that. <laughs> I am not that skilled. Uh, let's see. Gina asks, is it a gory movie? It is a horror movie. <laughs> if you don't like gore, you probably want to avoid the entire genre. Uh... Yeah. I mean, I understand if you don't like gore, that's fine. That's a hundred percent fine. I'm just, I'm just saying, like, it, it's, yeah. It's horror, a horror movies movie. do have, like, like there is very few that have zero gore. Mm -hmm. Um, but I do enjoy those as well. I'm trying to think, like, what the least gory horror movie would be, and I. That, that I would still consider horror. Arguably, Ernest Scared Stupid mm. is, like, the scariest movie you could show a kid. Because, <laughs> like, even though the, the main character, Ernest, is a complete buffoon, the monster is legitimately terrifying. And yeah. uh, Eartha Kitt is fantastic in it as well. Mm -hmm. And so there's a lot of elements of it that are, like... I mean, the one that I, f the, 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 the one that I found, which is a psychological... I wouldn't even call it horror... Yeah, it's more an existential kind of dread kind of thing. Yeah. Is called the Circle. It was on Netflix for a good long time, um, which is basically a whole group of people wake up and find mm. themselves in a circle, and if they move out of their circle, they get zapped and they die. There's no gore in that; they just die, and it's mm. and um, they realize they're having to choose who is the next person who dies. Mm. Um. And it's all about the psychological impact of that and, you know, playing the game and that sort of thing. Mm -hmm. So, 
I know the movie she's talking about, that movie is messed up. It is messed up. It's incredibly messed up. Uh, but it's all about what would you do if you could, if you might, if there was one shot of you living and that's everyone else dying. It's like, what would you do in that situation? So it's it's an interesting, like I say, it's more psychological than it is um, mm -hmm. anything. It was one of those things that I watched on Netflix that like didn't have good ratings, but I was kind of enthralled by it. Mm -hmm. um, what's the other one? I should write these down. So you said The Circle. The Circle, yeah. Um, the other one that I watched, I can't remember the name of it, but it was, it was basically they had to take an exam. There was a bit of gore in this one, but not much. Um to get a really high paying job and um and it was i can't remember what it was and it was basically um enforced like once you took once you said you were going to take the test you couldn't leave and you would get shot if you did if you can guys if you can find that one uh that movie and tell me its title i would really like to watch that one again is it is it about enlisting during World War Two? No. Because if you desert, you would get shot. No, it's 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 a high tech company. Okay. Um, Sounds like a Black Mirror type of concept. It, the White yeah, Vault, like Jumpy one. Jasmine says maybe. Sorry, what was that? Jumpy Jasmine says it might be called the White Vault. Maybe. No, that doesn't make that doesn't. Cube is a good movie. Yes. But, but that is gory. <laughs> yeah, see, I still haven't seen Square. Uh, you know what? I don't I don't rate Square. Maybe you should just watch uh, Cube instead. Um, Square was, you know, an ego project. The first time... I don't know if you know this. There's a, there's a, a sequel to Cube called Hypercube. I have heard of that. I have watched a bit of it and then just went, no... The first time I ever saw Hypercube was also the first time I ever saw one of the new cheap smart TVs. Mm -hmm. And so the movie is playing and the smart TV superimposes a sports car driving across the bottom of the screen and now and like a little like tape with words that says you know such and such car dealership blah 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 off sports cars all weekend and I, like one of the guys is just like yeah just like the director intended it's oh my God, <laughs> what? just putting ads on top of everything uh... mm. okay is the name of the film exam is oh it might saw? be it might be Jumpy the movie Jasmine. was just called yeah. Exam, yeah. I really enjoyed that one. Yeah. And I am aware that I am sometimes not the intended target target for a lot of horror movies. Mm -hmm. um, the psychological ones get me way more than the gore ones. I, I think that's true. I think that's true for me as well, which is why I enjoy them so much. Because gore is just gore. Mm -hmm. um, psychological stuff is like, well, how would I react in that situation? Oh, have you seen Malignant yet? No, I haven't. Oh, that's a, that's another one that you got to go in blind on. But... Okay, put it on the list. Yeah, because uh, I'm trying to think. People are like, Job, you previously recommended these other movies blind, and I enjoyed them. And one of them was uh, Everything Everywhere at Once. I told yes. people to go in blind on. That one's not a horror movie, although there are arguably some. There are horror. a little, there's a little bit of gore in that one, but not much. Yeah. Um... But it's that one's well worth it. If you if you like weird things, yeah. If you want something weird, everything, everywhere at once. Weird but good, because you can get weird just for the sake of being weird. Yeah, which is not. They they earn it. Um, Why is my voice coming out twice? It's not. That's probably you. <laughs> you probably have two windows open. Uh, what's that person's name? Uh, supervisor two tabs over here. 
I was gonna say, if, if their name is Johnny, they would be Johnny Two Tabs. But... Uh, no, I, I had got the joke. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, it's okay. It takes, it takes a while <laughs> to do well researched humor. Uh, yeah, it does. Yeah. The creepy mental ones are terrifying, whereas Gord is just murder, and it's just like you know. I kind of like the gore as well. Um, like I just like horror because I like. I don't know. I just like the subversive kind of um, messagey horror, rather than the the I'm just here to bathe in your blood, which is a different yeah. kind of enjoyment. Yeah, I, I used to really like stuff like Black Mirror, um, which is <laughs> arguably like psychological tech horror in a lot of ways. Mm -hmm. um, but like, that show is just so depressing that like, by 2016, I was like, nope, the world's too broken for this. I, I cannot watch this stuff in my free time anymore. I need to preserve that shred of my sanity. Which like, is fair. Yeah, it's like, oh, too close to home. <laughs> I'm done here. <laughs> yeah. I think uh, maybe we... I'm trying to figure sure. out how to extend this. Sure. Like, I'm thinking, like, having me trying to explain this to Cub with this being, like, the speech balloon and Cub being confused would be good. But I haven't done <laughs> enough, like, sketches of the hermits to be able to, like, do stuff like that on the fly. Fair. So. Fair. Also, I think I need to update my Minecraft skin now that I've shaved. <sighs> Possibly. I can do gore, but not to the level of, like, uh, Saw or the Hostel series. I'm not a big fan of Hostel. I, I kind of like the first Saw, but not the, the, the series okay. of it. Um, Saw gets, like, super weird in good ways. If you, have you watched several of the sequels? I've watched a few of them. I'm not. It's not really my. The the thing I I found interesting was that like, as the movies go on, it mm -hmm. turns out that like several of them were happening simultaneously. Hmm. Where it, it, you get the impression that this guy is just like a serial killer if you're watching the movies, but then when you get to one of them, it's like nope, he's a parallel killer. <laughs> this is like he he's he's running all of these different murder scenarios simultaneously and like there's like weird interactions between them that bridge the different movies and like uh it's i don't know i i, I haven't seen it for like 13 years so i might be misremembering it but i mm -hmm. i thought i remember thinking like that was an interesting narrative choice yeah but i don't I, can see that. I don't know which one that was where they started bridging them like that but Snuffles the Conqueror says Black Mirror. Mi uh, Black Mirror. Now I'll skip it. Wait for the real life adaptation. Should be out in two to three years. <laughs> oh. Yeah, that's that's the disappointing or depressing part about Black Mirror. Zombies aren't horror. They're educational documentary. True. <laughs> Thank yeah. you, well, Payloo, for the biddies and uh, for wine. Thank you for the biddies. Yeah, the reason they stopped making Black Mirror is kind of like the same problem House of Cards ran into. Mm -hmm. Where it's like the political lens, like like the show is supposed to be like a what if things were this much worse, but then like real life kept being worse than the scenario in the show by the time the episode came out. Mm -hmm. And so then everybody's just like, well, that was underwhelming. Like, womp womp. You can't keep up at that point. No, that's fair. It is a dotted journal. You are correct. Can't do horror, not horror or paranormal. Like, horror in itself doesn't get me, but... Um, supernatural horror. Mm -hmm. Like, demons and stuff. That is where my... One, the ones... The, the movies that I really like come into play. But also the ones that actually physically terrify me. You know? Mm-hmm. Like, like things like The Exorcist and uh, The Exorcism of Emily, Emily Rose. Mm -hmm. That got me. That was, that was just, that was just mean. <laughs> but I liked it. 
Yeah, I like The Exorcist. Um, yeah. Yeah, the paranormal like stuff. I don't know. Um, it kind of seems kind like I, in some ways. I, I find I like the the Japanese kind of concepts of ghosts and demons. Like, mm-hmm. I don't, it feels more frightening to me because, like, I guess like they kind of follow different rules than traditional Western spirits do, mm-hmm. and so maybe they're just as predictable to Japanese people as a lot of western ghost stories are to westerners but Mm -hmm. because i'm jumping that culture fence yeah like i'm watching the movie and i'm like i think i know what's gonna happen next and i'm wrong (laughs) like well no i'm just saying like i overthink a lot of stuff with narrative and structure and stuff and so yeah it's refreshing to watch foreign films that follow different norms Mm -hmm. and be like oh this is cool they went a totally different way than i was expecting no i understand that um but yeah um i like knowing the rules yeah so when they are subverted it's it's more entertaining to me yeah i mean like i mean like vampires and stuff there are rules to them but there are like genre there are movies that break those rules and I find those more interesting. Um, so could you give me an example of one that didn't break the rules you found uninteresting and one that was the example, like, they they nailed it by breaking the rules here? Not off the top of my head. I'd have to go back. Okay. No, that's fair. Because JT is the answer. Um, mostly because the ones that subvert it... Uh, they're not like um they're not very popular so my brain just forgets them forgets the uh the the, 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 the titles pretty much immediately oh that's okay we didn't come in here with a list of talking points and stuff like this is no. not a movie discussion <laughs> show this isn't e- um, like i mean if we did do a movie discussion show i think what would probably happen is we would figure out the movies and then yeah. go away separately and watch the movies and take notes. Yeah. Or like, I mean, we did actually do a, a recording once we did a, it might, it might have been ended up a two part episode of Joe and Cleo discuss horror movies where we actually just, but we both came in with like a list of different movies we wanted to like suggest or recommend. Oh yeah. Yeah. And so, but like for that one, we had the list ready for this. We're just kind of spitballing. It was like, I'm trying to think of vampire movies. What we do in the shadows um, Mm -hmm. is a particularly funny one that I enjoyed. Um, And they did a good job with the TV show too. Uh, Trying to think of like, I feel like there's a bunch of movies that just get made that I arterial underscore red says emote only most movies that get made. I don't see. So, (laughs) Like, about only chat. Everybody, throw some hands. It's a command, not a suggestion. <laughs> I do like the potato emoji. That's good. So May. When is my birthday this month? It's on a Tuesday. I'm so annoyed that because of the pandemic, I missed my Saturday birthday. My Saturday and Sunday birthday. Nee. Main Steve has resubscribed for 17 months. Thank you very much indeed. If you give it 11 years, it'll come around again, Cleo. Eh. I don't want it to. I want. I want it now. I mean, arguably, it doesn't matter anymore. Yeah. I work for myself. I can take whatever day off I want. Yeah, but like, are your friends available? Is kind of a big thing. I don't have friends. Don't be silly. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to assume. <laughs> to be honest, I'd much rather just take myself away somewhere and do a thing. Uh huh. 
because believe it or not, like my interests are not the mainstream for teachers. Mm-hmm. Well, like I mean, so like, uh, well, the thing is, it's like there are certain birthday things I do every year, but that I don't want to talk about those because then people wouldn't know where to find me next year on my birthday. Uh, <laughs> So never mind. Oh uh, boy, yeah. Operational security. <laughs> it's fun. yeah. No, I've had to deal with that myself recently. I'm assuming that's not something you want to discuss further. Not really. I just, I it was more of a. Totally. I get it. <laughs> yeah. You can take the day off if you want to. You can leave your friends behind because your friends didn't take the day off, and if they don't take the day off, then they ain't no friends of mine. I mean, arguably that's true, but as teachers, like most of my friends are teachers for some reason, um, or at least in the educational field, they can't just take days off. No. So how does this work? My friend has been going on about bullet journaling a lot recently. Um, basically, it's you make your own kind of planner. Um, I don't have my original. Like this is my this is my twenty twenty three planner, obviously, um, but you set it up in a way that is conducive to your life and how you want to live. So, yeah. You thought I'd miss my stream. No, it's fine. Um, and you can do an art project if you like. And apparently I do. Yeah. I've, I, uh, uh, JT, I've decided why April got um, the thing because it's a short month. And March is arguably longer because the C and the H take up more space. Fact. So plan your life seems nice. Honestly, the only reason why I think I bullet journal the way I do is because of this stream. Teachers are only friends with teachers because they're, they're only they know the suffering teachers experience. To a certain extent... Yes, whatever reason works for you is your general, that's true. Um, yeah, plus it has stickers and washi tape, so bonus. How are you doing, Joe? Good, good. You sure? I'm working on a space picture. <laughs> I've got uh, the Pillars of Creation James Webb photo up, and I'm just kind of sketching it out. Mm-hmm. I understand. So, yeah, that's... Uh... Yeah, we had talked about trying to wrap up at around 10.30. Yeah, or, so half an hour. half an hour from now. But, yeah, uh, yeah if, you, if you hit a wall, like... Like I said, I'm, like, going through filing cabinets, ripping apart my apartment, trying to get all this immigration paperwork stuff ready, so... If you need to go, Joe, go. I, 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 well, I've also been doing that extensively, so I also need a break. Like, <laughs> I'm saying I'm good either way. Like, look, I, I, I will finish out June, mm -hmm. and then we can call it. Yeah. Yeah, well, yeah that sounds good. Anytime between now and ten thirty, I'm good. Okay. Um, well, I will. I will finish out June, which is just writing in like thirty numbers, and then we can call it. Yeah. <laughs> and then you can go and look through some filing cabinets some more. Oh, filing cabinets. I'm sure you are thrilled. Oh yeah. It's it's my my favorite part of being in love is the paperwork. <laughs> That's a little dark, but sure. <laughs> Five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, eight, only nine, thirty. I'm done, Joe. I'm done. Are you actually done? Well, right. I'm done with June, yeah. Oh, okay. I was just writing out I said I was just writing out numbers. I was just trying to make things pretty. Oh, it's a okay. planner for ADHD people. Kind of, yeah. I mean, I, I would say this one isn't because I'm not ADHD. Um, it's 
it's it's beneficial for people who don't do well with standard planners. Yes, that one I will go with. Okay, guys, I'm going to say goodbye to Joe. Goodbye, Joe. Bye, Cleo. We'll break into our own streams and mm -hmm. then uh, do our raids. Yep. Catch you later. It was fun. Bye. Bye. Okay, we're out. Um... Cleo seems more OCD. I'm I'm not OCD. I am not. I I have um my my specific mental disorder is uh anxiety. I have a, a generalized anxiety disorder. Um which is a whole lot better since I stopped working as a teacher. Weird, right? <laughs> um so yeah, I have um, I have a lot of anxiety behaviours. So yeah, um, like when you when you see OCD in me, I don't have OCD like at all. I do have anxiety. Some of those behaviours cross over a little bit. Um, well, part of my GAD is part why I decided not to go into teaching. Here's the thing, I didn't have GAD until. Uh, workplace bullying occurred as a teacher. So, yeah. Um, and and it's never really gone away. Like, whilst the bullying stopped when I, I changed jobs, the bullying... Actually, no, the bullying didn't stop. The bullying came in a different way. Um, it wasn't until I got to my last job, like the, the one before I quit to do this, where the bullying actually stopped. So, yeah, no, like, um, OCD tendencies can be coping mechanisms. They can be. I am, like I say, I'm a lot better. I, I, I do have the occasional anxiety meltdown, um, based on other people's behavior towards me, but, uh, yeah. So, like, like, th thank you. Um, I, I'm fine. I am fine, um, and my life is a hell of a lot better now than it was. Uh, uh, but I still have... I still have triggers. Fortunately, this job doesn't have a lot of them. It's only the bit where I have to deal with other people. And how they react... How they respond to me affects whether or not I have an anxiety meltdown. You're getting bullied. Well, not anymore. I've quit that job. That's the point. Um, but yeah, no, it's it's one of those. It's like sorry. I'm just I'm just going into it now. Um, I don't mind talking about it. Uh, there are certain parts of this job that set off my anxiety, but not as many as you'd think. And a lot of the time, I mean, there are there are certain there are certain fans that set off my anxiety. Uh, fans loosely, the ones that don't actually give a toss. Um, <laughs> but, uh, most, most of the time I'm pretty good. Most of the time I'm, uh, most of the time I'm amazing. So, um, yeah. So I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go now that I've dumped that all on you. <laughs> like, don't, don't, don't worry. It's just like, I don't want to be in that place where I'm, I'm saying, Mental illness should not have a stigma. It's lo it's being ill. It's being ill. Teaching is a tough job. Yeah, not nine to three. Te teaching is a very tough job and it doesn't help when there are people in positions of power who do not like you. Do we need to have a talk with Jeff? Jeff's not a problem. I don't have any problems with Jeff. Jeff's fine. Um, like I say, it's it's it's... A lot of it is how my brain reacts to very reasonable stimuli um, that will set off my anxiety. So, <laughs> uh, so I have to train myself not to overreact. I'm not always successful. I do try, but it is what it is. Um, we're good. We're good. Brain is an organ. Don't look out. That people don't look down on you for having heart issues. No. Um, but like, I, I try to be fairly open with it because it is, 
I think it's important that people recognise that, like, I look relatively normal on the outside. I sound pretty normal, but I have this issue. Have you tried meditating? Um, I am not good with meditating. It, it actually, um, it is actually more likely to trigger a, a, an anxiety attack. I don't know why, but you know. Anyway, let's see who I can raid. Don't tell me who I can raid, I will find it. Oh, I'm gonna raid my other half because my other half has apparently just started um, doing Death Stranding, apparently. And they are the only one on my cha ra raid channels now. So we'll, we'll go over to them. Um, you know, open about mental illness. Yeah, like I, I try to be open about it because if I'm not, then I'm saying it's something shameful. And I don't think it is something shameful. First of all, Depression Club, you always talk about Depression Club. Um, yeah, I, I, you know, like talking about anxiety, talking about, um, I'm going to start that raid, um, is very important because somebody in here is is probably suffering silently you do not need to talk about it there are people there and i will see you lot next time bye bye